Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial, this is going to be a beginner's course for JavaScript, uh, not necessarily teaching you how to use JavaScript in general, but more specific use for JavaScript and how the RPG Maker MV engine reads and uses JavaScript. So the commands that I'm going to be teaching you are specific to the RPG Maker MV engine and how it uses JavaScript. So what we're going to basically do is go over uh, all of the commands that you can do uh, with uh, the engine itself, but how you would translate that into JavaScript. So this stuff wouldn't be necessary if you're just using the engine itself. You'd be able to do most of the stuff. However, using code in JavaScript with script calls uh, in uh, RPG Maker MV gives you more flexibility and it lets you break out of the limitations that the engine itself has. Um, so what we're going to do is start from the beginning and work our way down. Now we're not going to do all of this. It's just going to be a short video on the first command. We're going to break it into sections so that you, I don't overload you with too much content at one time. This is going to show you how to show text and how to manipulate the show text with a script call. So let's get into it. So we're going to go over to the third tab under advanced. We're going to go to script and we're going to hit OK and open up that box. Now whenever we edit this box we can change the text there. But let's give this a random uh, image so that we can uh, see what it is. So in order to do um, a message in game what we're basically going to be doing is a command called dollar sign game message. Now when we do game message there's a few commands that you can do uh, not at I should probably pay attention to what I'm writing dollar sign game message dot you would usually just go with dot add to uh, to put like a uh, text or something and you can say this is a message and whatever you put in these parentheses will show up like a regular message but what if you want to add like a face or something or you want to change the border we're gonna do a command called uh, dollar sign game message dot set face image and inside of this uh, image or set face image you're gonna put in two things the first thing you're gonna put in is the name of the file without the extension the second thing you're gonna put in is the index of that file uh, of that image PNG so let's go with uh, our basic actors let's if we were to go to I'm sorry not battle processing we're gonna go to show text look at our face images here we have in uh, our name images right here so we've got actor one actor two actor three and then you probably won't have most of these other ones but you'll have like people and stuff like that let's just go with actor two so let's talk about how image index work um, you're gonna start with zero so you may think that this is one two three four five six seven eight and you would be right in a sense that it counts that way but it doesn't start at one it starts at zero so this is index zero this is index one two three four five six seven so instead of one to eight we go zero to seven so when we're referencing and we want it to be this picture right here we would go with index number two if we wanted this picture right here we would do index number three zero one two three so let's go with actor two uh, index three which will be the fourth picture so what we're gonna do is go into our script call we're gonna go actor two and it's gonna be cap sensitive and you don't have to put dot PNG you just go with the name of the file without the extension and we're gonna go with index three zero one two three um, so now when we look at this message in game it's gonna say uh, this is a message but it's gonna show the picture the face image for that actor let's look at that in game really quickly or it's not it's gonna tell us illegal <laughs> because we're doing at instead of dollar sign wonderful This is a message, and you can see that the face image that it's given us is from Actor 2 on Index 3. So that worked out perfect. Let's expand upon this, and let's uh, change something. Let's, let's set the position type. So what we're going to do is uh, change the position type by doing game message dot, what's the command? Set position type. 
position type. And this, uh, we won't need any parentheses or anything for that. Um, per, the position type goes 0, 1, 2. Uh, as for top, middle, bottom, I think. So let's go with 0 and see what happens. Uh, another thing to point out is you want to do all of your set face image set position type before the message itself otherwise it'll show the message and then set the position type and everything so the message will always be the last thing you put in let's take a look at that so position type 0 will be at the top so 0 1 2 let's put it at the bottom we're gonna go ahead and go with position type 2 and let's do one more thing. Um, we're going to do the set background. So we're going to do dollar sign game message dot set background. And with all JavaScript, um, we use a thing called camel case. And that means we're starting with a lowercase uh, word. And there's no spaces or underscores. But when we get to a new word, we just capitalize the first letter of that word. So set, capital F on face, capital I on image, and so forth. So when we do set background, it, it, background it's dollar sign game, capital M on message, dot set, capital B on background. And we always include a uh, colon at the, uh, semicolon at the end to specify that we're done with that uh, line of code and we need to move on to the next line. So let's set the background. The same thing's going to apply. We have 0, 1, and 2. Let's take a look at them. So we're going to go set background to 0 and see what that looks like. So our background for that is our regular one. If we wanted to change it, we would just change that number. Let's set that to 1 and take a look at that. Now you can see that we have the dim background. The first one was the regular window background, which was B0. 1 is our dim background. We got no border there. And I believe that the next one will be a transparent background, so it won't show it really. Let's change that to 2 and see what happens. There we go, we have our transparent background, no borders or anything. So that's gonna do it for this quick uh, tutorial on how to use uh, JavaScript code uh, in the RPG Maker MV Engine to do uh, show text and uh, everything associated with show text. In the next tutorial, we're going to uh, cover the next part of the engine and how to do show choices with JavaScript. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe. If you have any special requests or comments, put them in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next tutorial.